welcome to What God Can Do Ministries. My, I, I want to share something with you that's so important. You know, when you go back into the Old Covenant and the Old Testament, you can find scriptures that describe things. Taken in context, it's fine. Taken out of context, they can damage you. And I just want to share from Joel, and it's chapter 2, verse 12. Now, also, also now, therefore also now, I beg your pardon, therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn you even to me with all your heart, and with fasting and weeping and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil, who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Now, if you read that, you'd say, well, look, that's what God's always calling us to do. No, this was an apostate people who had gone away from their God, if you read the first chapter, and they'd lost their way. But this is an old covenant people living under a mosaic tradition. This was their way. They needed to come to repentance. They needed to turn the same ways in 2, uh, two Chronicles 7.14, if my people are called by my name. Yes, it applied to the Jewish nation. It was a nation who should have been the people of God, living according to the law of God. And this was the way they were to come back. They were to reestablish relationship with God. But it is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is not the good news we have to give that Jesus Christ bled and died 2,000 years ago for our sin. He became sin who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God through him. By grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. And God wants you to know that there's a big difference between the old covenant and the mosaic way, mosaic way and the new covenant, which is in Christ Jesus, that was established on the day of Pentecost when Jesus Christ ascended to the Father, the blood was presented, and he sat down at the right hand of God till all his enemies be made his footstool. Please understand this. I do believe in repentance. I believe in repenting from dead works to serve a living God. But you don't keep repenting of those dead works. My Bible says that my God will not remember my sins and iniquities anymore. They're over, they're gone. They don't belong to me. I don't have a past, I have a future. And that's a glorious future in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, I live, Paul wrote, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Don't go back into the idea that if you beat yourself, if you humble yourself, if you wear sackcloth, if you go about with a long face, oh dear, I did this, oh dear, I did... Hey, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. What a covenant we have. We live in the new covenant, and the new covenant is based on better promises with a better hope. Thank God I don't have to live under the old Judaic covenant. I live under Jesus Christ, King of kings, Lord of lords, who's 
conquered all the power of the enemy, whoever lives to make intercession for you and for me, who loves us, who shed his precious blood to redeem us. We're purchased, we're translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear Son. Let us ever hold fast to the truth of the gospel, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes it. God bless you. God keep you.